All right, guys, so imagine this. Let's say in some weird universe, what if I just randomly came up to you guys and said, I like big hairy men. How would you guys react? I'd say, what else is new, Obama mama? Hey man, if you plan on giving Joe a sloppy one, just give me a heads up, man. Ha <laughs> real funny, Donald. I bet you thought you were real funny with that one, huh? Yeah, bro, you ain't funny, so stop it. Barack, you literally asked me how I would react and I told you how I would react. What's your problem, cuh? Uh, anyways, uh, Sleepy Joe, I feel like I should have asked before, but why aren't you wearing a shirt? Sorry guys, I didn't know I was muted. Yeah, my, uh, I don't know what happened to my shirt. I swear I had it. Shirts don't just grow feet and walk away, Sloppy Joe. Not to mention that your mic still sounds atrocious. Have you not bought a new mic yet? Shut the fuck up, you mud-eating cow. I've had a chaotic week. Plus, I gave all of our money to fucking Ukraine, so now I gotta start saving up before I can buy a new headset. Why don't you just ask Jill? She'll give you some money to buy one, right? Yeah, so funny story, actually. When I woke up this morning, I saw Jill knocked out through a table. Almost like someone choke slammed her through the table. But hey, what do I know? Oh my God, it all makes sense now. That would explain why your shirt is missing. Sleepy Joe, were you sleep wrestling again? Shit, hell if I know. My body got a mind of its own once I hit the sheets. It's every man for himself at that point. Oh my God, I hope she's okay. Maybe we should check Screw on her. Screw that shit. It's her fault for marrying that choking hazard of a human being. You know what? All this wrestling talk is making me want to play a WWE game. Hey, Joey, you got 2K24, right? Start that baby up. Let's do a match or two. Yeah, man, I got 2K24. That's the one with Cody Rhodes on the cover, right? Oh my, that young man is so charming. Wah! I'll start it up right now. What the fuck was that last part? Wait a minute. Batty Biden, you dumb son of a bitch. This isn't WWE 2K24. This is WrestleMania XIX. <laughs> what? Are you sure? I literally just bought this game on the Xbox store yesterday. Look, I see Cody Rhodes right there. I swear, Batty Biden, you're starting to piss me the hell off. Keep this bullshit up and I'm going to give you the classic big D spanking. <laughs> Calm your titties, Donnie. I think Joe might be cooking with this one after all. If I remember correctly, I think this is the game that has that game mode where you can literally throw workers off a building and basically murder them. Oh, I think I remember this now. So you're telling me I can throw Sleepy Joe off a building and get rewarded for it? Oh, hell yeah. Bring me that wrinkly ass JoJo. Yeah, so if we're going to play, then we got to do the revenge stages. With that said, should we invite a fourth player to join us? Nah, there's no point because we all know no one will want to join because they know they're going to get their asses kicked by the final boss, AKA the Big D Trump. What the hell is going on? Ah, I'm scared of the dark. Help me, mommy. Who the fuck are you calling mommy? Final boss. Engage. Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Reen Sh What is good in the hood, you jabronis? Did someone call for the final boss? Ah, uh, hell nah. Not in my crib. What the hell was that goofy ah uh, intro you just did, Rocky? You already know the Great One had to make a grand entrance and there was nothing goofy about it. The only goofy thing here is that belt you got on your shoulder. Piss off. This championship is not goofy. This here is the Big D Trump Championship. Only the biggest of the D's can wear this championship, let me tell you. How about you wear D's nuts in your mouth? Anyways, I see you guys are playing WWE 2K24. You already know the most electrifying superstar in sports entertainment is gonna join in on this one. Well, technically this isn't 2K24, this is actually- Shut the fuck up, Barack. I don't remember asking for your goddamn opinion. But listen up, if the final boss is going to join in, then let's make a little wager, shall we? If The Rock beats all of you geezers, then I want those championships. <laughs> what? Boo, 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 but, but this is my one and only Daisy Championship. It's not up for sale. Well, as a businessman, I'm all about striking up some good deals. And if you want this Big D Championship, then I want something in return. And what is it that you want, Mr. Trump? It can be anything you want. You know what I want, Rocky? You know exactly what I want. 
I want to take a bubble bath with you. I'm sorry, I'm not sure I heard that right. You want to do what? You heard me. I want to take a bubble bath with the final boss. I want to soak in all that Samoan final boss bath water. You got it, Trumple Stiltskin. If you can beat The Rock, then you can take a bubble bath with the great one. And that goes for all of you. But if I win, then I take those sweet championships home with me. Fuck yeah, finally a life worth living for. Best believe I'm going to risk my life for that darn bubble bath. I can't believe I'm risking my life and my sweet daisy belt for a damn bubble bath. Oh well, I guess it wouldn't be my first time being in a bath with another man. Barack, and you wonder why people call you the fruity one. It doesn't matter though, because here comes the great one. Hey, ya. Uh... Ah, heck nah, Rocky. The great one is nothing compared to the one and only Joe Bama. If you think I'm giving this baby up to some bald guy, then you got another thing coming. Why did you specify bald guy? Is there something wrong with my shiny dome? Do you got a problem with bald people, Barack? Hell yeah. Bald people are disgusting. They're icky, icky, icky. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna throw your ass out, Vin Diesel. Bro, I know damn well this fossil did not just call the great one Vin Diesel. Nah, bitch. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm already bleeding? This is some bullshit. You guys must be hacking the game right now. The only people who rig games are China. Those damn Chinas are always scheming. Let me tell you, it's tremendous. Wait a minute, did I just say China? Holy shit, did someone just say China? Oh! Ain't no way blood just got an orgasm to the word China. Nah, man, you're yanking my chain, no ditty. Damn, man, who the hell just took a shit on my guy's face? El Mao, you dirty animals. Nah, but for real though, listen here, Rocky baby. I used to think Donnie was weird too with his weird China fetish. But I kind of get what he's cooking now. It's kind of like when I see good piece of hair. Think of it, Dwayne. Have you looked at a piece of dreadlocks and thought, oh baby, that's a winner right there. Let me go give it a whiff. What in the living fuck kind of question is that shoddy Joe? Of course The Rock doesn't do that. Is that all you do, Joey? You just jack off to hair all day? I mean, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, right? It's what all the cool kids do these days, right? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your president. A jabroni-beating, pie-eating, trailblazing, eyebrow-raising, hair-sniffing, child-sniping dementia patient who can't even go one second without saying something weird. Goddamn, I can't believe I endorsed your delicious ass a few years ago. At this point, I can see why everyone is telling me to run for office. Maybe it's time for the people's champion to start the most electrifying campaign in America. Not in my hood, Black Adam, you dumb son of a bitch. I called dibs on the presidential office, and realistically, you wouldn't stand a chance against Durag Donald. Well, considering our last three presidents are three brain-dead boomers who play video games all day, then I'm pretty sure I have a pretty good chance. Just look at Barack. This man is a trailblazing, chicken-loving, watermelon-eating, Kool-Aid-drinking, daisy-meat-riding son of a gun, and he had two terms. So I don't see why the Brahma Bull can't have a chance in office. Wait, what the fuck did you just call me? Nah, fuck you, Dwayne. You're not getting away with that racist shit. Put them hands up. Acknowledge me, bitch. How about you acknowledge these nuts in your mouth, Obama? Tell the man with the plan that The Rock said, Shut up, bitch! Well, ah! <laughs> oh, Kufa. Skull for choice, Jabber. And that is why I should be in office. The citizens want a man who can take charge, a man who can get the jabronis out of the streets for good. Well, listen here, Adam. If you want to run for office, be my guest, but you better start grinding your stats up if you want to challenge the final boss, a.k.a. the Big D Trump. Bitch, you are not the final boss. The only people who call you the final boss are the McDonald's employees because they know they got to come together with the power of friendship to finish making your gigantic order, you fat ass. Take this Trump cold stunner, you bitch. I'll have you know the McDonald's slaves' um, employees love me. They love me very much. They really do. In fact, the only person who's going to be calling me the final boss is Batty Biden. Wouldn't I technically be considered the final boss, considering I already beat your ass before? No, Joe, because quite honestly, you are a stupido. Well, quite honestly, I think you can gargle my ball sacks, you greaseball fuck. 
Donald, do you got fucking arthritis or some shit? Why are you fucking standing like that? This is my special technique. The boys back in my hood taught me this special form. Who the fuck are the boys back in the hood? Is that what you call the kids who ride the party bus? Damn, Donnie, I didn't know you were like that. It appears I was unfamiliar with your game. Don't let him fool you, Rocky. Donald had a nice upbringing. I'm talking rich family, white picket fence, truly the American dream. And for some odd reason, this dude wants people to think he came from the hood. When in reality, the only reason why he wears that dureg is because an anime girl shaved his head a long time ago. That is fake news. Fake news, I tell you. And I don't want to hear anything from you, Dwayne Barack Johnson, considering you got eliminated first. Look, can you guys just focus up? I really don't want to give this dude my daisy title. Please eliminate him. Don't worry, Obama baby. I'll have the top G out of here in no time. Did you just call me the top G, you dumbass? I am not Andrew Tate. I am the great one. Put some respect on my name. I love young people. That's it. I'm throwing your ass out. Ah, motherfucker. Oh, oh my God. Well, it looks like Durag Donald has got to come in clutch for the boys. No surprise there. But then again, the dump truck never shies away from big moments. Well, just so you know, even if I'm at a huge disadvantage, I also never shy away from a challenge. How are you out of all people at a disadvantage when you've eliminated both me and Joe? Have you seen this dude, Trump? Look at the way he's built. He's like an orange version of King Kong Bundy. Ah! Miss me with that weak ass attempt, Rocky boy. Now it's time for the real final boss to toss your ass out. Oh shit, wait, Trumpy. Maybe we can talk this out. Please help me, mommy. Ah! I got three words for you, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. We are some more. Ah! <laughs> and just like that, the dump truck himself, Dureg Donald, wins this brawl. You better get that water ready, Dwayne, because the Don is looking forward to that tremendous bubble bath. Oh, it's going to be the best, folks. Just the best. You got it, Donnie, honey. A deal is a deal. You managed to beat the final boss and the rock. We are some more. I'll even bring my rubber duckies, too. No, I wanted to have the bubble bath. Can I join you guys? Please, please, please let me join. I really want to see the rubber duckies. Screw off, diaper daddy. I won the bubble bath fair and square, and the last thing I want is for your senile ass to shat all over the tub. Man, that's not fair. I was cheated. Why can't I ever just win? Sorry, shoddy Joe, but not everyone can be the Durag. I'm in God mode. There's not a single person who can stand a chance against me. Did I hear that correctly? Did you son of a bitches say a bubble bath? Nah, man, you got me fucked up if you think I'm gonna let you farts have bubble bath without the Texas rattlesnake. Oh, hell no. Not Stone Cold Steve Austin. There ain't no way I'm sharing my delicious bath water with your bald ass. Then it sounds like there's only one way to settle this big chungus. Let's fight for that mother trucking bath water. Listen up, kings and queens. If you want Stone Cold Steve Austin to beat the shit out of this fat fuck, then give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah! And you know what? I want to join in too. I want to rematch so I can show Rocky Poo my rubber duckies. Uh, I don't even know what is even happening anymore. I'm just going to stay out of this so I don't lose any more brain cells. Well, you know what, Donnie? I know someone who also wants to fight for that bubble bath. In fact, he is someone who knows you very well. What? What? No, wait. Don't tell me. It better not be who I think it is. And his name is John C. <laughs> Ha 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 ha, that's right, Humpty Dumpty. It is I, the doctor of Thuganomics, John motherfucking Cena, baby. What? No, 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 this isn't fair. I won that bubble bath, fair and square. Th th this, is this is amazing. The Rock is absolutely loving the passion in here. Listen here, fellas, there's not enough Rocky to go around, so only one man here can take a bubble bath with the great one. And since I know the Big D isn't a pussy, he'll defend his opportunity right now. What, what? No. That sounds amazing. In that case, let's raise the stakes a little higher then. If I win this match, then Donald has to give me my long-awaited no DQ barbed wire chainsaw massacre spit swapping makeout match. Did you just say spit swapping makeout match? Now I'd pay some good money to see that shit. Enough talk, fellas. Let's get on with the ass kicking. 
All right, fellas, it's the same rules. You have to throw your opponents off the harbor in order to win. Whoever is the last man standing will get the bubble bath. Man, this is some bullshit. Look at the world trying to set me up for failure. I swear, China must be behind this. Yes, I figured it out. China is definitely scheming something here, and the Big D is going to get to the bottom of it. Ha 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 ha. You caught me, Donald. I was indeed sent by China, and they told me to leave you a message. They said, why the fuck does this dude keep turning into Kim Jong-un? Nah, that shit is gnarly as fuck. I might just spank myself. That won't be necessary, Mr. Clean, because I will happily give you a classic Trump cold stunner. A Trump cold stunner? That shit sounds like the worst finisher I've ever heard of in my goddamn life. Holy shit, ain't no way you trying to steal my finisher, Yokozuna. I'll have you know, the Trump cold stunner is completely original. I made it myself, believe me. And let me tell you, the people love it. They love it a lot. In fact, they love it more than the stone cold stunner. They say, Donald, your finisher is so great, just the greatest, way better than Steve's finisher. Donald, that is a bunch of fake news and you know it. But since you claim that the people love it so much, then if I ask anyone in this room, they'll tell me exactly what you said? It is not fake news, it is real news. And yes, if you ask anyone, they'll tell you that that Trump stunner is better. All right then, we'll see about that. Hey, you there, Sheldon Benjamin? Do you think the Trump cold stunner is better than the stone cold stunner? Wait, are you talking to me? What the fuck? I am not Sheldon Benjamin, my name is Michelle Obamna. I didn't ask for your fucking life story, Obamna. I asked you which finisher is better. Now hurry up and answer the question before I go over there and kick your husband's goddamn muscular ass. Go ahead, Barry. Tell Baldy Basics how you feel about the Trump cold stunner. You really want to know how I feel about your finisher, Donald? Yeah, man, go ahead and tell him. All right, uh, if you say so. So uh, how do I say this? Uh, so uh, how should I put it? Uh, and I've got to say, in all honesty, um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit that I have ever heard. Everyone's laughing, by the way, but it's true because everybody's heard it too. Everyone heard it, right? They look at it, all everyone's like, yeah, big piece of dog shit. Obama, I can't believe you would say that to me, Tpov. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Donald, can you go get possessed by some demons somewhere else? Some of us here are trying to win a bubble bath with the top G, Andrew Tate. For the last time, Betty Biden, I am not Andrew Tate. First of all, Grandma, I'll be damned if you think I'm going to let your Gandalf looking up. Can I please sniff your head, Steve? Holy shit, that was random as hell. I'm sorry, you said you want to sniff. I want to sniff your shiny head. Yes, that's what I said. RKO out of nowhere, bitch. He he ha ha. Whoa! Now hold a goddamn minute, you jabronis. Sleepy Joe, I don't know if this is your dementia kicking in or something, but the last time I checked, uh, you told The Rock that you hate bald people. You said, and I quote, they are icky, icky, icky. So what's with the sudden switch up? I think the real question we should be asking is, why don't you want to sniff my hair, Biden? Look at me. I got hustle, I got loyalty, and I got respect. Johnny boy ain't nobody trying to sniff your goofy ah. Trump, I know you're not talking with that goofy-ass Durag Vince cosplay. Nah, man, just like WrestleMania 23, I'm going to take a dump on your orange ass again. Nah, honey, I won once and I'll win again, and that's the bottom line. Because Donald Trump said so. Ah! I swear you guys are a bunch of idiots. Yes, 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 I did it. That sweet, bubbly Samoan bathwater is mine, baby. Let's freaking go. Donald, you stupid son of a horseshit. I can't believe you let this feral ghoul beat us. I swear, Austin, you are such a stupid idiot. That was your fault. You and John rigged this game. That bath was mine, and you idiots took it from me. No, I hate you. Oh, so now you're blaming me? You know, Donald, I've had it up to here with you. If you want to run your mouth so much, then how about I go over there and go shut it for you? Bruh, I know damn well you ain't gonna pull up. You don't wanna challenge me, homie. I'm built different. Yeah, that's right. Stay silent, cause I know you ain't like that old man. 
Wait, is he knocking on my door? How did he get here so quick? Holy shit. Good thing I always keep a glass of water on me. Bro really thought I wouldn't come prepared. Wish me luck, kings and queens. Austin, I got this glass of water and I ain't afraid to use it. Donald, I am gonna give you three seconds to bend over. I ain't gonna tell you again. Don't make me throw this water on you. I will do it. I will do it. Three, two, one, here I come. Suck my dick. You son of a bitch. All right, Rocky, I got my bath toys and my rubber duckies ready. Are you ready, man? You're darn right, the rock is ready. In fact, the final boss already got the tub ready and it's calling your name Dementia Daddy. Now, just so you know, um, I'm gonna DM you my location, but remember, it's a very, very, very secret location, so don't tell anybody about it. Got it? You got it, man. I'll check my DMs and head straight over there. Man, I wonder where that secret location is. Oh well, I guess we'll never know. Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe, kings and queens, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Cena out. Man, I still wonder to this day why I hang out with those goofballs. Anyways, I gotta go take a big hairy dump. Hopefully it doesn't clog the toilet this time. El Mao. And then I said, take that jelly donut and stick it straight up your candy ass. Ha 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 ha. Funny, right? Batty Biden, I swear, if you're asleep right now, The Rock is going to give you the nastiest people's elbow. And then I will... What the hell? Oh my God. No way. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Obama mama, it's not what you think. Nah, it's exactly what I think. Good thing I always carry a toaster with me. Hey, yeah! Thank you.